Hey, black power, black power, black power, peace of love and black power to the black people around the planet. Peace of love and black power. If this is your first time coming into my channel, please mash up the like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And hit that notification bell at the bottom so you always be in the crosshairs when I drop one of these hot videos. You know what I'm saying, fam? Make sure you like and subscribe because you love this channel. This is the channel where we bang on that beast. You know what I'm saying? We don't stop. You know, revealing what we need to reveal. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep our people informed, keep our people on our toes to what's really going on around the world. You know what I'm saying? You can't get distracted. You know what I'm saying? You got to come back centered and find out and stay focused because we at war. This is a constant war that black people are in and we're not engaging in it. You know, we're just pawns. You know what I'm saying? Being picked off by the ruling class being put, picked off by our own people. Our self-hatred is the reason why we so gullible. We so gullible because we so blinded about self-hate, envy of one another that we can't see what's really going on around us. And sometimes we don't want to see the reality, the reality of what's going on because we will have to deal with it. See, once you understand what your common problem is you want to get to the problem and solve the problem so you won't have that problem no more so you try to avoid your confrontation with the people who's making this life for black people up on this planet a hell a living hell ever since we came in contact with these particular people we're hunted down we're hunted you, you know what I'm saying? We was hunted and brought to this land. We was hunted. And when we got to this land, we were still hunted. Lynch, burned at the stake. Cops still shooting us right now in the back of the head, in the face, overkill. Black people in Chicago still killing each other. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of things that happen to us by the ruling class because they're not respecting us as a people. We don't have a fortitude of uh, uh, unity, no love for one another. You feel what I'm saying? We don't have love for one another. And then we do organize. We organize for something demonic. When we do organize, we organize to be demonic. We don't organize to free the land. The free the people. You feel what you feel what I'm saying? Hey, this is Underground Warrior TV, man. Come on, mash up them likes. Make sure y'all share this video. Make this video go viral. Cause we're going back and talk about a case that happened 10 years ago. I got a video yesterday that I seen. It inspired me to do a video today on this particular incident. 2013, January 11th, in Valdosta, Georgia. In Valdosta, Georgia, Kendrick Johnson. That's what I'm talking about. Do y'all remember Kendrick Johnson of Valdosta, 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 Georgia? Valdosta, Georgia was found in a school gymnasium and a mat rolled up his body dead. dead no organs no body organs body body organs missing this whole case is foul it has a foul smell when you look at the logistics that surround the case how come nobody is doing time i'm gonna tell you why this video explains it to me because i didn't know the logistics i didn't know that the so-called perpetrators had a beef with Kendrick Johnson days before he come up missing. But this video that surfaced, that came to me, explains 
everything that I needed to know because I was puzzled. Because somebody need to be doing time for this case. This is a crazy case. And you people, my people, to sit around and wait on the government to do something for us what we could be doing for ourselves. We're going to have to create jobs for ourselves to be able to monitor, monitor these motherfucking monitor, these motherfucking Neanderthals and monitor these bitch ass niggas who in the hood killing us. You got niggas killing women in the hood. What kind of shit is that? How can I make an indictment on what the white man doing and you sitting around black people doing the same thing your adversary is doing to you? But what make it crazy, I'm not going to use the same word asinine. I'm going to call it counter, uh, counter conductive, counter productive. You kill off the black woman in the hood now. Niggas killing women in the hood. Women, black women. That is counterproductive because how can she procreate you on the planet, us on the planet, men on the planet, if you keep killing her off? It is her to bring the black babies through the portal, the sacred portal. You know what I'm saying? She bring the, the babies through. You killing a black woman up. <laughs> it's crazy. We killing ourselves. So how can I make an indictment on this Neanderthal, this Iceman for killing us and we doing the same thing? So we need to stop it. You see what I'm saying? This is why these Neanderthals feel good about killing our brother and getting away with it. Kendrick Jenkins, I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to broadcast on it every time I get my insight on it. And they should be doing time. Them two white kids should be doing time. They grown men now. It's been 10 years. And they father need to be doing time right now in our jail. Fuck they jail. We need to run our own justice system here in this country. And we can deal with our people. And people who murder our people, we can deal with them when we want to deal with them. Let them come to our courts. We want our own jurisdiction. This is what this vote is all about. If you niggas go vote, let's vote for power. If we can't have no power, I don't want to vote for the next cracker who's going to sit up in there and not do nothing for us. I don't want to vote for the next house Negro who wear this J.C. Penny suit, glad that he up on around white folks so he can ask white and step on us too like the whites do. Fuck that shit. I'm going to speak on Kendrick Johnson case. It's been 10 years and no justice in this case. Despite all the evidence found from the medical examiner that this brother suffered from a blunt trauma forced to his neck. And y'all going to close the case in Georgia. You don't close no case in Georgia when you got a, a medical examiner after he do the autopsy on the brother and find out that he got hit in the back of the neck. And they closed this case in 2018. They closed it uh, back when it happened. Then they opened again. Then they closed it again. The medical examiner told you this brother was murdered. How in the hell? They gonna close the case. There's no statute of limitation on murder. Y'all need to go lock, lock up Caroline Bryant for what she did to Emmett Till. Not to get off subject, but this deals with the same particular attitude that white supremacy had. That's why I don't vote. I don't vote for these folks. They don't show no respects and no regard for black life. If they love the black people, if Joe Biden loved the black people, the American government loved black people, we have an hate crime bill Put in, put in effect, and these little white people down there in Georgia wouldn't have killed our brother, and they know they did it. Lotus County Jail Sheriff 
close the goddamn case. You can't close no murder case. It's an open and going case. You ever heard a cold case? Don't close the case unless you're trying to hide something. But I'm going to tell you, check this clip out and you will understand where I'm coming from. You feel what I'm saying? School. We was on a bus trip for a playoff game. And Brian, you know kind of the kind of person he is. He joking around, he playing. But when he playing, he's he playing rough. You know what I'm saying? Kind of almost like a bully. So him and KJ sitting sitting together in the back seat. And he grabbed his dreads. And he holds his hand down with his dreads and he laughing. And he picking at him. So when KJ get up. He get, his, he get his hands off of his dreads and start fighting. I was in the seat right in front of him, seeing the whole thing. Anybody, anybody in that situation is going to fight. So they got to fight him, and he got the best of him. And Brian, yeah, Brian ain't, said, Brian ain't like that too much. After that fight, they made KJ go and ride in the, uh, in the deputy's car. But they let Brian sit in the stand with his parents and watch the game. Kid the down one day, he said, Dad. I said, yeah. He said, uh, you know how you can be standing up, you know, you can be standing up doing something and you just feel somebody looking at you? I said, yeah. He said, well, I turned around and seen Brandon staring at me, just standing up staring at me. And he been, I've been hearing, he telling people at school that it's not over. He said, but I heard about him. He said, I heard. He said, I wish he would say something to me. So one other day, Kendrick came home. He said, you know, Rick Bell, Brian's daddy came up to me at school. He said, uh, he told me that the fight was on the bus. It wasn't a fair fight. That I should come over to their house and refight Brian. So I said, Kendrick, what'd you say? He said, I looked at him like he was crazy. I thought why I walked off. But you are FBI agent. You supposed to make sure stuff going right every day, but you want kids to come fight again. And he, of course, denies this conversation. Of course, you know. Of course. Of course. And then we come back to school, and Brian is acting funny. Usually, he'd stop by and he'd speak to us when he walked past him up, walk past the wall that we're sitting on in between classes. But after this happened, he takes a different route. He don't come through there no more. And this before anybody even thinking it's him. He just took it upon himself to go a different route to his classes. Why? After this happened, do you start taking different routes around the school? That was like, you know, it was like a no brainer. Like, you moving different. Why? When all this happened, Kendra didn't have no beef with nobody else. Kendra wasn't into it with nobody else. They were the only one. And then we come to find out, they are the only ones uh, they get interviewed. Turning now to the growing mystery surrounding the death of a Georgia teenager. Students finding 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson's body inside a rolled-up gym mat at a high school. That was back in 2013. Well, now the latest autopsy is revealing new details in this case. Heather's back with those new developments. Yeah, big twist in this case. Local and state investigators, you know, ruled Kendra Johnson's death an accident. His parents, though, have always insisted that he was murdered. So here's a timeline of events. It was back on January 11th, 2013, when Johnson's body was found rolled up in a gym mat at a high school in Valdosta. Three days later, investigators for the first time called his death an accident. In September 2013, though, an independent autopsy found that Johnson died from non-accidental blunt force trauma. In June 2016, the Justice Department found insufficient evidence to support federal criminal charges. Well, tonight, a third autopsy now reveals that Kendrick Johnson died from non-accidental injuries. It finds his cause of death as blunt force trauma to his right neck and upper chest. Now that is a complete reversal from the initial autopsy that determined his death to be accidental asphyxia. So Johnson's family still believes their son was murdered. That foul play is suspected. They also accuse law enforcement and school officials of a cover-up, which those officials deny. It is not known how these new autopsy results will have an impact, if they will have any impact at all on this case. Anthony? Fam, 
You see what I'm saying? This brother was found dead in a gym mat at Lotus High School. Despite all the evidence from a medical examiner, from a medical examiner, a second autopsy that Kendrick Johnson died from a blunt force a blunt force blow to the neck. Lotus County Sheriff Ashley Polk closed the case in 2018. Now, this is the statement in, 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 in the reason why they closed the case on Kendrick Johnson's murder it wasn't no accident. They're trying to make it an accident. Just listen to the, the stuff that they want to feed the black populace like we're so, supposed to believe the idiot, crazy, inc inconsistent stories that they give us. They tell us it was an accident that he accidentally fell in a vertical mat. Vertical is standing up. He fell in the vertical mat. The mat was standing up when he jumped off the bleachers into a standing mat that was already rolled up. Only way that mat can stay rolled up, if it's some type of rope or something around the whole mat, the mat to make it stand. And how did he fall vertical? They say he fell vertical into a mat because his shoe fell into the mat. I guess he jumped off the bleachers into the mat and the mat happened to lay from his weight and smother him and suffocate him. Asphyxiation is what the first corners try to say. You know, because they all work together. And I'm going to tell you why they work together. Because as you see in the video, Kendrick Johnson got into a a scuffle on the bus. His friend in the video, his mother in the video, and his father in the video gave me the insight. I can put the pieces together now of what really went down. And it's deeper than that to me. Rick Bell, the father of Brian Bell and Brandon Bell, the two Caucasian little kids. Now they grown now because this happened. 10 years ago these were 16 17 year old students at a lotus high school in georgia that confrontation got back to the racist fbi agent rick bell it got to him He's mad because his son got defeated in a scuffle, in a fight. What parent would ask another kid to come over to the house and fight my son because I don't think the fight that y'all had on the bus was fair? This is evidence. Then the brother at school before he get killed. Brian's brother, Brandon, is just staring at him weird. Then he has an encounter with Brian and Brandon's father. The father tells the kid, Kendrick Johnson, hey, I don't think that fight was fair on the bus. Come fight my son and our crib at our house. What kind of war strategy is that? What kind of war maneuver would that be? So with this amount of evidence, no one is being questioned. No one is being charged. Hey, this is how they kill us in America. This is how they get down. But I want y'all to keep saying his name and keep 
talking and speaking about this brother Kendrick Johnson. Don't let Kendrick Johnson die in vain. And this is why I'm speaking today on Kendrick Johnson. Even though this case had, had uh, um, happened in 2013, that family still feel the pain. Will white supremacy kill your people? Or anything happen to your people by anybody? And anybody that lost a loved one, anybody lost a loved one, know what I'm talking about. I feel Kendrick Perk, I mean, damn, Kendrick Johnson's father's pain. I don't know why I said Kendrick Perkins. Y'all know Kendrick Perkins used to be a basketball player. He's an NBA uh, analysis, you know what I'm saying, sports broadcaster. I'm sorry about that. But Kendrick Johnson, we're going to say his name, going to keep it relevant. And I'm going to keep dropping stuff on um, Vadosa. I'm going to keep dropping heat on Lotus County. I'm going to keep putting heat on Georgia. That's what I'm here for, the bang on the beats. Y'all know y'all killed Kendrick Johnson. And ain't nobody locked up? Ain't nobody locked up? It's the same thing happened with Emmett Till. That happened in 1955. This is an Emmett Till lynching in the 21st century. This is an Emmett Till lynching in the 21st century. Emmett Till was killing in money, Mississippi, 1955. Kendrick Johnson was killed in 2013 by the same racist mindset. And all we do is vote, ain't nothing happened. Ain't nobody locked up for stealing this brother's organs. Kendrick Johnson's organs was missing. I don't know if it was missing at the funeral home. Was his, his organs missing before then? I believe he was killed for his organs. Killed two birds with one stone. stone. The FBI agent, we gonna kill him. Because what he did to my son. Oh, before you kill him, when you kill him, can we get the organs? And they sold his organs on the black market. Everything was missing. They even sold his brain. How the hell the brain is gone? What you going to do with this brother's brain? You know, some weird things that happened in Georgia. And I want y'all to go back up. And I'm going to do something on that, too. On the In the 70s. I think it was the 70s or the early 80s where uh, I think it was the 70s. Wayne Wheats, uh, the Atlanta killings, where a lot of black people were coming up killing in the in the uh, 70s. I think it was the late 70s or the early 80s. I'm not for sure. I remember being a little kid and everybody was like, we hope it don't happen here in Ohio, but it happened in Atlanta, they was finding, was it Atlanta? I think it was. They was finding bodies in the Chattanooga River. They tell us that this little man, 5'7", 110 pound man, was killing these people. A black man. But I did some investigation. It was the Ku Klux Klan and the scientists of the GBI is holding this information they know they know about it. This is the Georgia Bureau of Information uh, Investigation. They investigators, they know who really killed those kids in Atlanta. They blame it on a little guy. He five seven, locked up Wayne Williams. He is innocent. The government framed that black man for the killing in Atlanta of the kids. It was some type of scientific program going on, and the Ku Klux Klan was trying to start a race war by killing black people. But the scientists in that area, area was working with the Klan because they was doing stuff to the bodies. They would find the bodies with holes on the hip 
where they were sucking the melon out the bodies of these black kids and black people. They were coming up missing in the 70s in Atlanta. It was all on the news. The Atlanta child killings, it was on the news. These people are deep. Hey, mash up the likes, share this video, subscribe to the channel, leave comments below. Peace and black power.